Hey everybody and welcome to part 6 of Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. Now before we get into the video, if I sound a little weird, it's because uh, I broke my tooth earlier. Uh, I'm recording this the 22nd, you guys probably won't see this for like a week. But I broke my molar almost in half, like it, it's about, I, I lost about a third of it. I'm seriously waiting for the other, like, I guess like, quarter of it to break off. So then, you know, I literally have about half my tooth. So, yeah, it kind of hurts. But I took a bunch of Tylenol, so I'm pretty good. Anyways, let's do King Zing Sting. Probably, in my personal opinion, the worst boss in the entire game. And, it's obligatory squawks level. So you have to hit that big red stinger. And then I believe every every two hits you do to it, it goes into like a needle shot phase. There is a boss similar to this in Donkey Kong Country 3 as well, but we're not gonna get into that just yet. There's nothing I could do about that. I couldn't I couldn't go up, nor could I drop. Like that was just a killer pain in the boo tang. Dudes and do to oh, I actually hit it. I didn't think I was gonna hit it. Also, I haven't played games in like, other, well, other than World of Warcraft for like weeks, so this is kind of uh, kind of new to me, you know, going back and playing games. Now, yeah, the last phase is it breaks down into one bee, and it creates a force field of other, well, not bees, it's 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 a wasp, and then so you gotta keep hitting it, and then I believe like if you don't hit it for a long enough time frame. Like, it literally just respawns the zingers, and that's about it for this. And that's it! That is the zinger boss fight. We managed to beat it without dying once. So anyways, that is it. My girlfriend is wanting a kitty. Okay, next is Gloomy Gulch. Now this is the gauntlet of the game. So technically speaking, you have to beat that boss and three other um, levels if you don't go back and save after you beat that boss. So anyways, let's go do a Ghostly Grove. I know for a fact with 99 lives, I don't need to save, but no. Hang on, there's a cloak up there. What? That hitbox is weird, and why why wasn't Dixie crying? And I'm gonna attempt to drink some pop here with my bad tooth. I have to drink very awkwardly. on down whoa I think you just want to wait here um, does he okay I'm like no one well I guess except if you play this game a lot before would know that that actually you know that cloak gives you a uh, chest that has a one-up in it now I believe the DK coin is actually under one of the uh, like I guess the ground I would say platforms but they're not really platforms since they're big chunks like so we got to pay attention to the lower half of the level like, you don't really need to look up for much I believe we're actually getting close to a bonus whoa it's holding down the uh, Y button too long X button ah there it is I knew it was somewhere boom and with that, let's continue on. And completely missed the rope! Okay. Uh, I just gotta do something here really quickly. I don't know if um, I'm gonna cop this out, but okay, back. Back in action. Also, it's so weird having my tooth rub my cheek because you know the broken part is a little sharp and yeah it's not the most comfortable thing in the world but luckily in this level we no longer have to get the DK coin for some reason in the GBA version you can't see it so it's a little more difficult I honestly thought he was gonna be used for a bonus but he's not I don't even know why I bother getting all the letters we have over 99 lives we got 99 problems but a life ain't one unless gamers have no lives then maybe Okay, now you need this, because there's a bonus right here. 
Is this find the token? I believe... Yes, it's the third take on this. And Oh. In the GBA version, if you use Dixie, she can just jump up. Oh, I guess... I guess if you have, like, a running start, I guess you can kind of sometimes get up there. But in the GBA version, you can literally just jump up over and over with it and be able to uh, hit the, the red zinger. Oh, you spiny summoning cloak. Oh, hey, a TNT club up. Boom. Wish I could get this to record in, like, a more HD tone. Like, I feel like it doesn't look HD enough for you guys. But then again, you guys never seem to have complained about the quality of the game beforehand. Oh, I actually hit the right guy. Oh, I was actually going to use you, but sure, why not? Okay, now this is the bonus. Erna. Oh, come on. Okay, now this really sucks because you literally have to time it just right. There we go. Also, Forest Interlude, the sa the music that is playing in these uh, like haunted forest levels, which honestly are all in the same world, to be honest, is my favorite soundtrack of all time from Donkey Kong Country 2. I wouldn't say my favorite from Donkey Kong Country because like I have a favorite one from each game, but then Donkey Kong Country 3 technically has my favorite one of all time. So yeah, that's that's just my personal opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but that is definitely my favorite from this game. Followed by a close second with the uh, ice levels, you know, the one like uh, Black Ice Battle that we had. Yeah, that one also was pretty good with it. Dude, can you get out of the way of the rope? Pretty sure this is the ending portion. I didn't even mean to get that coin, but I did. And there's no lives, just bananas and coins. Alright, just answering a text. Like, my girlfriend sent me money to go and buy McDonald's tonight, which is, is kind of nice, but... Anyways, let's go on to Haunted Hall, which, while it doesn't have the same background as other levels, it technically is the third and final of the, um, uh, roller coaster levels. Oh. Okay. Why I went down there is because in the GBA version you can find the gold feather, so I thought maybe there'd be like a life, bananas, or some kind of coins down there, but nope. How do we work this one? Okay. You use the cart to jump. It's not one of the ones where you jump out of it. Now, the whole concept of this level is I believe this guy's name is Cackle. It's either Cackle or Crackle. And he follows you, and you have to get these time barrels, and if you run out of time, he'll hurt you, and the time will reset. He won't upright kill you. Ah, god darn it, I missed the bonus. So I'm just gonna die if I can. Uh, but, like, like I was saying, he won't upright just, you know, kill you, he'll just injure one of your Kongs. And, okay, good, there's a cliff. Oh my god, my girlfriend is like, I swear she's not working right now. For being at work, I swear she's not working. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, six texts in less than five minutes, man. I can never text at work. Hey, guys, comment in the comment section below if you guys uh, could text at work. I know I couldn't. But then again, I worked at McDonald's and Taco Time. Yes, I did go to college, but the economy has been kind of bad. So I'm trying to, like, start my own businesses and stuff. Now, there's actually two bonuses in a row. One's up here. And a lot of people don't know that. This one could be a little tricky to get into if you don't time your jump right. Okay, this bonus is interesting. So what you have to do is you have to go up here. You remember that uh, speed barrel that we got in the uh, race level, rickety race? Yeah, we get it again, but this time we use it to go backwards. It's actually a really easy bonus. I found it really easy, to be honest. And now we have to go in this where this bonus. That ceiling's a little low. Like the stars. Boink. So this one you just gotta try and get as many as possible. There's more than enough, but you wanna make sure you get enough. There's another bonus like this coming up. I believe it's in one of the ice levels. Yeah, I see way more than enough. I don't actually know if you can miss that coin or not though. It'd suck if you missed the coin. 
Okay. Now we do not need to die here, so do not die. Boink, boink, boink. I like how the last one gives you most of your time, though. It's like, oh. Oh, I could have got that, but then again, I'm not really in the need for them. Donkey Kong Country 3 makes it so you have to get the coins a little more often. Like, they're called bear coins. And they're actually important to beat the game. Well, not beat all the levels, but to get 100%. Now, this guy, on the other hand, has all minus barrels. So we gotta get to the ending without hitting any of the minus barrels. Well, says that, and we can still make it. We're not gonna take damage. I believe you can hit one. Yeah, I think it's literally just one, and that's all you can hit. Damn it! Pardon the swear, but we have to die. That was the bonus down there. Yes, one of the. It's another one of these levels that has three bonuses, so. I'll probably just cut. See you guys in a bit. Or I'll speed up the video. Speeding up the video. Speeding up the video. Speeding up the video. Sp sp speeding up the video. Speeding up the video. Woo! Woohoo! Gotta do some tricky maneuvers. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, okay, we made it that time. Still pretty much lost the same amount of time. It's kind of funny. Okay, we're back here. Alright, we made it. We made it. It's another one of these find the tokens, so I'm gonna assume... Yep, yeah, I was just gonna assume it's gonna be jumps. Not much else you can do. We literally did most of the bonus styles we could for this. <laughs> Not much left, eh? I think we have one more, like, gauntlet part to do, and then we're done with the level. I believe this guy's the last one. Yeah, because he has the plus and minus barrels. Would have been cooler, though, if, like, the minus barrels were a little easier to get. I feel like they're kind of just out of the way half the time. Like, those ones are in a good spot. The ones on the ground... Oh, that one hit me hard, but we did it. Wait, did we get the DK coin? Oh, wait, no, this is one of those levels that has, like, the really easy DK coin. DK coin get! And life get! Because, as monkeys, we need balloons for lives. The balloon life force. I'm looking at, like, my chip tooth over to the side and it looks so sad over there. Anyways, we got Gusty Glade, the second Haunted Forest level. Now, this level is kind of interesting because it has wind physics. And also Ratley. Because why not put a snake here? Still kind of wish like Donkey Kong had like a flying buddy other than Squawks. Like maybe like a bat. Or uh, something or other. I think this is the K. So let's get off you, kill Cutlass, and grab the K for unknown reasons. Now, uh, the DK coin here is actually up in the air. While one was under the level, this one's actually up. So let me hop across to my Destiny. And no, I'm not talking about Destiny 2 that I will be playing soon. I will be playing Crash Bandicoot, uh, the Insane Trilogy remaster when it comes out. That, that's not going to be for quite some time yet. Okay, now if you're... Oh, hang on. Whoa! Oh my god. Things are just going rough, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Woo! That was easy to do, though. Sorry if this recording session is a little bumpy. Not my fault, though. What? I... Seriously? A 3-up balloon for getting Ratley? I'm pretty sure in the GBA version they changed that. Pretty sure they don't give you that. Okay, actually, we don't need that. What we need... Is now that's the end. That one is actually the bonus right here. It's a cannonball. Yoo so you gotta be careful with the wind changing directions. And bonus! Literally, like, right after the other bonus. Collect the stars. Oh yeah, this is like one of those random things that has literally nothing to do with the level design itself. So it's like, oh, we gotta throw in a star bonus. 
You know, we haven't had enough of these already. They're new to this game. Let's abuse it while using barrel mechanics. How do I keep missing that? It's not even that hard to get in the barrel, man. Okay. Alright, hey, jeez, that was way rougher than I anticipated. Alright, hey. Also, this level's a lot easier with Dixie. Actually, you might want to switch into Dixie for this. Air cannonballs. Okay, cannonballs are up here. I, okay, now, I believe this is the part where you want to... Okay, no, it's not this part. This is still one of these little areas. Oh, I know, it's up here. So what you want to do is you want to fly, because there's the DK gun. Or I guess you could use cannon. And boom! That life is ours. Perfect. Well, I guess we have time to do one more level. Parachute Chute. Panic. Get it? It's like parachute panic. And now I believe the DK coin is actually down here to the left. So you want to hug the left. And there's the DK coin. Yeah, so this is the obligatory blue squawks level that no one likes in this game. This is probably everyone's least favorite level now. Unlike, uh, like, um, Clobber Carnage that I mentioned is like one of the hardest levels of the game. I wouldn't say this level is necessarily hard. Or a pain it's just kind of boring and it was a unique concept for the level but then they decide to redo a level like this in freaking Donkey Kong Country 3 with the exact same character except ow except he can carry barrels and he has to drop barrels on enemies and he's also in like actually he's in like two levels in that game in this game he's only in can, can you drop me oh you actually have to get off yourself in this game, he's only in one. In the other game, he's in like two or three. Because I know he's in like Logi Labyrinth or whatever it is. And then he's also in uh, um, Pothole Panic, I believe. I think there's two bonuses here. There's only one other level other than the boss in this world, and it's kind of a doozy. Like, I wouldn't say it's a hard level, it's a really cool level that I really do thoroughly enjoy. But due to the fact that the DK coin is once again at the end of the level, it's not very well respected. Okay, now I have a text message, but I do not want to answer that until I am done this level. Also, if you guys are fans of World of Warcraft, the Tomb of Sargeras is open for those, I think, normal and heroic. So if you guys are into that game, you guys can totally play that up right now. And also... So there's totally something over there that I want to grab. Uh, I think this is the other bonus. I think this is the only other bonus in the level. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this is the final hive level. I love how like we can shoot through the walls though. It's like they don't bounce off the walls, but it bounces off enemies. Now also, you can fail this bonus completely if you know you don't kill him with the TNT barrel. Actually, there might be two, because, or just two here, because I know for a fact that there's two in the next stage. Because one of them is actually kind of fun to get. It's unique and kind of weird, and a lot of people don't know how to get it, or didn't know how to get it at the time. But it's actually kind of cool. Also, you can push up to, you know, keep sparks from going down too fast. <laughs> Might as well answer that text now. My girlfriend wants me to check my email again. Like, this is kind of getting annoying. Like, as much as I love her, it's getting annoying. Yeah, see, there's only two bonuses here. We literally just need to beat the most boring, bland level in the entire game. Without dying. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Solar. You got this. Yeah, and I actually decided this is going up on Solar Warlock, so... Yay, I can now say my name on it. We also missed the O. The O is in a weird spot. Oh yeah, I hit myself, what, right around this area? Which sucks because the, um, 
<laughs> DK barrel is up there and you can't go back. And this level is not one you can backtrack on. I'm gonna hit myself there. I'm not. Darn it. Oh, that's convenient. Oh yeah, this is like the click clack gauntlet part. All right, now this is where I thought the O was. Never mind. That's actually literally just for banana and coins. So I was wrong with where I thought the O was. I actually don't know where the O is then. You know, this isn't for a bonus. This is literally just to continue on. I think we're at the part where we literally go through like one final. Uh, yeah, this part. There's the G, but without the O, I don't need the G. See, that's not that hard. Uh oh, uh oh. Woo oh, and I believe this is the ending. Oh yeah, there's a hook back here. And I don't really need any bonuses specifically, so... whoop de doo Yeah, we did it, guys. Whew, a little bit of a rough recording session. Getting, still getting used to the tooth thing, so... Anyways, let's go check out our percent at... Wrinkly Kong. 69%, the magical number. So anyways, I'd like to wish you guys all a happy whatever day this is, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, like, comment, and subscribe, folks.